Hello, welcome to Who's Louise? Um, I don't know why I bent down. Um, this is gonna be a bit of a different video um, because as I get busier, this whole Wednesday, Saturday thing is starting to become a little more difficult. So this is gonna be, this is gonna be a bit of a different video. I'm filming this on my old phone, so sorry if the quality is not as good and I'm editing it and probably cap cut or something. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna cook something. If you know me personally, or if you have stuck around the channel for a while, you know that, oh God, I used to make a lot of cooking videos. I don't anymore. Um, and I'll kind of explain one of the reasons why, um, like a big kind of unspoken reason. And I'm also gonna talk about music um, I don't know what I'll talk about, but there's a few different things that I want to talk about. But hey, maybe this is sort of a a mini series that I'll start where, I don't know, you just join along and I'm cooking food and ignore the AirPod. Um, I'm watching a video because I'm an iPad kid and I have to do like five different things at the same time. But today we are doing, we're just cooking like a tofu sandwich. I'm a vegetarian if y'all don't know. Insert trolls in the comments that are like, of course you're a vegetarian because you you didn't like the album I like, you know? Oh. Um, and you may be thinking, oh, okay, what recipe are you following? I'm not, I'm not following a recipe. I'm making this up as I go. And that was actually the biggest reason why I didn't really love making cooking videos. Like I enjoyed it, I love cooking, I love making videos. Surely those things would, kind of um, be conjoined, but there's a few reasons. So one, I'm, I'm somebody that cooks usually less of, like based off of like, this is a thing that I want, and then I go get the ingredients. Usually I'm looking through my fridge and I'm finding what I have and I'm making a recipe because of it. Um, and that's always the simplest way to do it, as long as you have necessary food groups and stuff like that, or like lots of protein or veggies. That's always a good thing to do, is to just cook what you have. Um, or maybe buy ingredients that you know that you're gonna love and use all the time. It's not that you can't just cook things that you don't have. Let's say you wanna make a pizza, right? And for some reason you don't have flour or sauce or cheese um, or any of these things cook whatever you want, but it was kind of insincere for me because I was teaching people to cook in ways that I don't actually cook. The biggest way that I don't actually cook is with the help of a recipe. Not because I'm pretentious and, oh, recipes are only for beginners. I actually find that recipes, in my own closeted philosophy, I think that cooking recipes are more detrimental to beginner chefs than people may think. And I'll explain why. And it's also why I don't like baking because baking without a recipe is harder than any form of cooking without a recipe. Like I've never cooked meat in my entire life. I've never cooked meat. Um, I could probably cook a chicken better right now than like baking a cake. I just, like, I couldn't bake a cake, but I could probably figure out how to cook a chicken. Um, and it's also ironic because I watch a lot of cooking videos on YouTube, but I don't think it's a shock that I've always been more interested in YouTubers such as Adam Ragusea. Um, and I promise I'm talking about music in a second. But Adam Ragusea kind of has a similar philosophy as me where it's like, get the basis of what you want Here's the important recommendations for in terms of sizes or measuring and all that fun stuff. But then after that, it's like, for instance, he's a big fan of lime juice and he's a food creator on YouTube, if you guys don't know. Um, like he's, he, he loves acidity in foods and he always adds more. And he's like, but don't add this much if you don't like it acidic as me. And I always appreciated that because it's like, seriously, when I'm cooking, a pizza or something. Pizza is a good thing to explain. Like, I like more sauce than people. I like less cheese than people. 
If I'm making a recipe and I'm telling you use this much, that's how much I want. And there's no point in trying to be productive in cooking when you're telling people how to cook the way that you want to eat. Um, like if you want, like imagine somebody going by the books and creating a recipe and, and they really like pineapple on pizza or something, right? And they say, and they're like, well, I can't put pineapple because it's not in the recipe. Like I know it's unrealistic to be that by the books, but I'm sure that is the case. Where some people, and also sorry for audio, if that's a problem. I really don't like buy the book recipes. And I also don't like the idea of just just following it one, like to the T, but also not listening to like what you like. Every time I explain a certain recipe to like my sister, right? Um, I always explain to her, hey, guess what? I like a lot more garlic or onion than probably most people do. Like literally, anytime I'm cooking a recipe, I end up using like a full onion because I love onion, it's my favorite vegetable. But her, if she's cooking a recipe, she probably doesn't want to use as much onion as I usually use. And then she asks me, how much should I use? It's up to you. We all have our own tastes. And also we have our own equipment. Obviously me and my sister, we have similar cooking equipment, but like if I'm saying cook something at 400 degrees for this amount of time, your oven may be hotter or it may run colder. You might not have an oven. You also may not want to use an oven. The amount of people who would rather just air fry something and it's like, but then if you need a direct recipe and obviously air frying at a specific temperature is a good idea. Um, every time I air fry, I never look at the temperature. Some people would look at the way that I cook and see it as sort of a ill-advised way to cook. Um, I don't think that my method of cooking is the best method in terms of like, <laughs> Um, also, here's the tofu. I'm also not going to be filming this entire thing. I'm just going to kind of film maybe like three little chunks. So this is the first chunk, middle chunk, and then I'll be eating while I explain something more musical. <laughs> um, but seriously, like people would see my cooking method and philosophy and be like, so you don't measure this, you don't, it's not consistent all the time, but guess what? I know what I like and I love eyeballing things and the greatest method of cooking that you can learn is to eyeball and, and to, to just go by feel, go by what you want. If you love balsamic vinegar and a salad dressing recipe calls for one tablespoon, add the second tablespoon. Like there's, there's no reason to be by the books. Sometimes science comes into things like in baking. Baking is super scientific. If you add that extra half cup of flour it's probably not gonna be as good as you want. But in the same sense, that's why I don't bake. I don't really eat desserts, but when I do bake, I'm like, this isn't fun. I can't really experiment. I can't really do many things. Like in a recipe, I could try browning the butter, but like, you don't know. Everything is so delicate when baking. That's why I'm not a big fan of it. Um, anyways, I'm gonna cook up that tofu. I'm gonna look through my fridge if there's any other vegetables or something like that, figure that out. Um, so, We'll join back in a few minutes and, or I guess for you, it's no time at all. Um, and you know what, let's talk about albums from 2021. That's something that I've been wanting to talk about a while because I, I truly feel like 2021 was an insane year for music. And I'll probably talk about it further in depth, but let's just talk about music. Maybe I'll talk about a bunch of different things. I really don't know. <laughs> okay, goodbye. I think 2021 was a crazy year for music. Like when I think of the best year for music, I should use another mitt. I think of 2021 um, for a few different reasons. One, a lot of my favorite albums come from that year, but it also makes a lot of sense, right? Like that's the year where 
artists were kind of more comfortable releasing albums out of a vault, especially because they knew they were going to be touring. Like, people who released albums during 2020, I think it was definitely an interesting move, at least, like, obviously post-COVID. When you think about all the artists that released in 2021, you have, like, Baby Kim, Kendrick Lamar, um, Spelling, <laughs> um, Dijon, Injury Reserve, was that 2021? Yes. Little Sims, like it, it's crazy. Um, so I'm gonna talk about some of my favorite albums. Let me talk about some tens that I have. So, Spelling, if you do not know, yes, um, for those chronically online, I found out about this record through Anthony Fantano giving it a 10. It is a 10 in my opinion as well. But I, I, I was able to see her live and it was incredible. And it kind of like solidified just how great that album was for me. Cause I did always sort of enjoy it. Um, but now I, I like, it is seriously one of my favorite tens in general. Like the instrumentation is so luscious. Also, this is the tofu, by the way. Um, I'm just putting some random sauces on it. I cut up some avocado, some lettuce, some carrots. I'll probably cut up some onion maybe. And then that's gonna be the sandwich with like a spicy mayo or something. I don't even know. Um, but yeah, like spelling released. If y'all know Ryan Lahan, you might know his song um, "My Little." But he released his second album, Spark. And oh my god, like it's just there's so many different styles of music. We're like it's like electronic and folk and hyper poppy in a way and just a bunch of different things it is seriously such a fun record and i love it so much um that's another one of my tens and then absolutely by dijon um one of my most recent tens um but maybe i have a 10 from this year that i wasn't expecting but we'll see uh, maybe it's a 10. um but anyways absolutely by dijon my most recent 10 and that, that album's just insane. Some of the best instrumentation, some of the, the most like powerful vocal performances. It's great. And 2021 also gave us a lot of great near perfect albums, such as Little Sims's um, Sometimes I Might Be Introvert. Um, and with songs like, like one of my favorite, Actually, my favorite rap song of the decade, Standing Ovation, is on that. And I'm just like, how, how is that not incredible? <laughs> Call Me If You Get Lost, one of Tyler, the Creator's best. Um, I will say that album kind of grew slightly off me. But I can't help but deny how insanely great it is. Is this bread moldy? That's a game I constantly play. <laughs> is this bread moldy? I really can't tell. What do you guys think? It's hard. I'll tell you that. There's like white specks all over it. It's not mold until it's blue. That's my philosophy. <laughs> um, that's horrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> what else? Um, I feel like I need to like look through albums. <laughs> Because I, I just know there's so many. Oh, by the time I get to Phoenix by Injury Reserve. Seriously, one of the just the most, one devastating sort of posthumous album, but also so important in, was Hotels? Wait a minute. But that, that record with songs like Post Postpartum and Superman That and all of those songs, it's just like, it's crazy. Hotels, Jasmine Sullivan. And she included more of it um, in 2022. So great. Yeah, wow. Um, Sling came out that year, I believe. Yeah, because it's been three years since Sling, I'm pretty sure. And I love that album as well. Expect me to talk a lot about Claro very soon. Because something big is happening. I'm even wearing... This isn't my Dijon shirt. I thought I was wearing my Dijon shirt. Um, what else? I'm like looking through albums because I seriously like... I forget just how many great records 
were released. Um, yeah, Daddy's Home. Was Daddy's Home released in 2021? I'm literally listening to it right now. Um, was it 2021? Crazy. It was 2021. Yeah, no, I, I seriously think that 2021 was kind of like the year for a lot of artists to sort of make a return. Um, and I mean, that's good. At the end of the day, that's great that artists are able to sort of release their music because it really is a case of like, I feel like people think that artists can just like release an album willy nilly and sort of not think about like anything other than like the actual album. But it's like, no, like touring provides a lot of money for a lot of artists and it's an important thing. And if like you want them to continue giving you such great music, LP by JPEG Mafia, was that 2021? I don't even remember. Um, anyways. If you want them to continue giving you great music, it's like, no wonder they're not releasing during a global pandemic. Unless it's songs specifically about the global pandemic. Yeah, we had enough of that trend. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to continue making the sandwich and assembling it. And then... And then I'll eat it. And what next should we talk about? I'll think about it. Some I'm also musical. We'll see. Yeah. I'll be right back. I've been eating it. It's really good. It's like falling apart like crazy. Um, but it's really good. Also ignore my... It's very sad background compared to my room. Um. There's a lot of great music out this year. There's also like a lot of albums that I've heard are great that for some reason I haven't listened to yet. Like the new JPEG Mafia, I think I've skimmed it. I was gonna make a video, I'm busy, so it's hard to, like that Nas reaction, I filmed a month ago, right? Um, I don't think I have any other videos like that, like on the back burner or anything. So, I don't know. I'm kind of like thinking like, if I don't listen to it now, then I kind of have to make a video about it. Um, same with the Denzel Curry, although I'm not too sure, like I, I'm interested in Denzel's music, but... I've never been like insanely interested. I feel like if I was gonna react to any of his music, it would be Taboo or Taboo. Um, Cause that's his most popular. That's a lot of people's favorite from him. If not Melt My Eyes. Yeah. I definitely have to listen to that. I know like Black Balloons and that's it. There's a lot of albums that came out this year that I didn't react to, um, but that I do love, such as the new Vampire Weekend, the Claro, um, the Quadeca. There's a lot of great albums. The Ravina, Aurora. <laughs> Orion Sun just dropped a new album. I'm gonna see her live, which is gonna be very cool. Um, Tornado Pilots released an album. <laughs> Did I react to it? I didn't react to it. But I made a, a review. And you can check that out. Or don't. I don't know why I'm filming myself eating. I'm a horrible eater when it comes to my food. At a restaurant. I'm so proper. That's not true. But when I'm home. And it's like something that I cooked. No one's allowed to look. No one. Uh-uh. Ignore the moving thing in the corner of the frame right there. Um, hello. 
What's your album of the year? What's mine? I can't say. Um, oh, ow, that kind of hurt. Yeah, I feel like last year, there was a lot of music that was well regarded, but I didn't fully, fully see the hype of. Like, I'll explain. So, Scaring the Hose is something that, you know, it's JPEG Mafia, it's Danny Brown. I understand. And a lot of the songs on there I did enjoy, but I'm just like, I didn't really get that final push of like a, wow, this is incredible type thing. Um, and I'm sure I should just revisit it. And I do want to revisit it. Sorry. Um, another album was the Sanfa, Lahai. That bite was full red. Also, this being unedited, crazy. Let's just talk about it. It's crazy. But anyways, I don't know. I feel like I still gotta get a good thumbnail. Ooh. This is like a horrible looking sandwich for a thumbnail. I have another half, so I'm gonna try to make it pretty while I talk about music. Um because nothing's more authentic to than inauthentically making a thumbnail in the video that you're making. Anyways, yeah, last year, La High, Scary the Hose, albums such as that. Like, I feel like I got more out of Guts than some of those albums. I think I had more fun listening to them. Not that every album you have to have fun listening to, but I'm like... It's always easier for me to have fun listening to an album. I like fun music. A lot of my favorite music of this year is just fun. Such as the Claro. And the Huron John. This is horrible. If people know me in real life and you're seeing me eat this, <laughs> eat like this, crazy. Um, I mean, what else is there? I feel like to kind of sum up because we've been talking about years a lot. I've been talking. That is on my toilet. Oh god. Anyways. Yeah, I, I think twenty twenty one was like the best year for music in a while. I think that year is coming again. I don't think it was last year. I don't think it's this year. Like I absolutely love a lot of albums from last year. And I think even more so this year, like the amount of nines that I have from this year is crazy. I judge years based on the amount of nines I have. <laughs> I feel like either next year, 2025 or 2026, it's gonna be like crazy music. And I don't think Kendrick's dropping this year, but I do think if he does drop, it's gonna be insane. I think he's gonna drop next year. Stop, don't, don't go in there. Thank you. Um, Baby Keem should drop. Isn't he dropping? I don't know. You know who needs to drop? Frank Ocean. But I'm convinced he's never dropping an album ever again. And you know what? High key, if he wasn't teasing constantly and doing all the scripted stuff, I'd respect it. But now because he's teasing and doing all the scripted stuff, I'm like, where's the album? The problem with Frank Ocean dropping, though, he would have to make the greatest album of the decade. Like, the, like how do you even live up to... Like, it's not even his previous albums. Like, I love Blonde, 
And I really like Channel Orange, right? But when you think about it, like those albums, I don't think he has a 10. I know a lot of people think some of his albums are 10, maybe both. You know, love People of Endless, Nostalgia Ultra, all that fun stuff. But I'm like, personally, I think Tyler the Creator's been more consistent. When it comes to Frank Ocean, I feel like he has to live up to himself. Like seriously, imagine a Frank Ocean album now. People could compa compare it to Blonde or like the a billion Channel Orange songs that go viral on TikTok every day. But I'm like, at the end of the day, is this a pretty thumbnail? Oh, that looks so bad. Dude, this looks so bad. I promise it's delicious. Normalize eating ugly food, <laughs> especially on the internet. Um, Wow, oh, there's your thumbnail. <laughs> um, but I, yeah, Frank Ocean can't drop an album. Because <laughs> nobody would allow it to live up to what they expected. There's either going to pe be people who, and this is with every album, where they're like, this is a 10, even though I don't like these three songs, and this is this. I'm definitely going to make an album about 10s. Uh, people not knowing what a 10 is. But if Frank Ocean drops and it's not the greatest album of all time, the amount of hate, unnecessary hate, we waited eight years, nine years, realistically it's going to be 10. He'll drop in 2026, whether that's a song or another ring or... <laughs> He'll drop at some point, but like, yeah, he can't, he can't. Cause y'all crazy and it would never live up to what you want it to be. Which is why I'm quitting YouTube. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know what this video is. I highly expect this to be a one-off. Um, Cause also it's long, like it's been three chunks. This has been long. Um, I just needed to do something for the video tomorrow, and I didn't know what to do. Anyways, I'm eat the rest of this horrible looking sandwich. I promise it's good. This is such a horrible introduction into my cooking. <laughs> Watch my other cooking videos if you're interested, because they're better. Um, and this isn't a cooking video. I happen to be cooking and burping a lot. Anyway, oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go to bed after I finish this. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Normal-ish video on Wednesday. Probably a song or something. Like reacting to a song. <laughs> um, yeah, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. And then goodbye. Goodbye. Go away. Okay. Yeah. It's it's harder when it's yeah. Okay. I can't even. Oh god.